Lesson 21 The Camel and the Jackal There once lived a camel and a jackal who were very good friends. One day the jackal came to know that there was a fine field of sugar grain growing on the other side of the river. So he went to the camel and told him about it. Let us go to the field while you enjoy the juicy sugar cane. I am sure to find many crabs, bones and dead fish by the water side, which will make a tasty dinner for me. This plan will suit us both. What do you say? It's fine by me. Hop on to my hump and let's go, replied the camel. The camel swam across the river with the jackal on his back, since we all know that jackals cannot swim. When they reached the sugarcane field, the camel ambled across to eat the sugarcane. The jackal ran up and down the river bank, devouring all the crabs, dead fish and bones he could find. Being a much smaller animal, he finished his meal quickly. The camel had just about two or three mouthfuls when the jackal did something foolish. He began to run round and round the sugarcane field, howling and yelping with all his might, not realizing that he was putting them both in peril. Sure enough, no sooner had the villagers heard the howling and yelping than they came running with thick sticks to stop the jackal from scratching holes in the ground and spoiling the roots of the sugarcane plants. But much to their surprise, when they got there, they found not only the jackal but a camel as well. The cunning jackal, being smaller in size, managed to hide among the plants. But the poor camel got beaten black and blue. The angry villagers chased him towards the river and left him there half dead. When the jackal saw that the coast was clear, he came to the camel and said, Let us head back home pretending as if nothing had happened. The camel said, Very well, get on my back as you did before. So the jackal jumped onto the camel's back and the camel got into the river once more. When they were midstream and the water was deep, the camel said, Friend jackal, there was a fine way in which you behaved with me. No sooner had you finished your own dinner then you went yelping and howling all over the place, loud enough to arouse the villagers to come, and thrash me so severely that I could hardly get up. Why did you make so much noise? Uh, well, I don't know. It's my habit to always sing a little and dance about after a meal, the jackal replied, trying to defend himself. By now, the camel had swum to the deepest part of the river. He now turned to the jackal and said, My friend jackal, I feel very anxious to roll over. Help! Help me! Oh, oh, pray don't do that! The jackal cried out alarmed. You are well aware that a jackal cannot swim. Why do you suddenly want to roll over? What a crazy idea, and that too in the middle of a river? Well, I don't know, answered the camel calmly. It's my habit to always have a little roll after a meal. Quoting the jackal's exact words, having said that, he rolled over in the river, shaking his terrified, screaming, so-called friend into the swirling water. The jackal got drowned. But the camel swam safely ashore.